All right, gang, welcome to this week's submission. This is how to do a sky replacement in Affinity Photo. Now, this is a very special blog post. This is coming to us from one of our students, Mr. Bob Thompson. Bob lives in the Pacific Northwest, had some eagles around. He's going to show us how to do a simple sky replacement. So, in the details down below the video, you're going to find his step-by-step. -step. What I've done, I've taken his images, and I'm going to show you how to do it in a video format. So, this is all Bob's technique here. All right, folks, let's go ahead and get started and roll those credits. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at what we got. We've got the eagle and we've got the sky, right? So the very first thing you're going to do is we've got to create a mask on this eagle. So to do that, we're going to come over here to our selection brush tool. Now, we're going to ratchet this bad boy down a little bit. And what we're going to do, we're going to hold control now. This is the trick. So we hold control and we swipe. Now, notice what it did. It, with holding control, snapped to the edges of the eagle. So you see the marching ants around the outside right here. It did a pretty good job. You've got good contrast here. So this did a pretty bang up job. So what I really want to do though, I want to get in real close here and see what it did in the feathers. Feathers look pretty good. It didn't do a great job around the head here. And I'm missing a feather right in here. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to have to go refine this bad boy. So I come back into my selection brush and I hit refine. Now what that's going to do, it's going to turn it all bright red, right? Now I'm going to take my brush down just a hair and I'm going to highlight those areas where we get the wing. You see what that's done now. It's looking for a very hard edge on the wing. It's going to give us a much better selection. So again, no selection tool is perfect. There are ones that are just better than some others. Then I come down here to my problem area right here and I hit the head. That looks pretty good to me. I come down here and I touch the spot on the wings. All right, and that'll do it. Now, this is the critical mass, folks. You see the refined selection here? It'll ask you what you on an output. The output has to be set to mask. All right, so once you refine it, go ahead and hit apply. Oh, bird disappeared. All right, that's exactly what we want. Now, let's look at our layer structure. There's the background. There's the mask. The bird has been masked out. So let's go ahead and zoom back out, get a look at the full picture. All right, looks good to me. Now what we're going to do, we're going to come over here to the sky, and we're going to go ahead and select all. There's the marching ants around the outside. Now we're going to go ahead and cut, and the sky disappeared. And we're coming over here to the eagle only layer, and we're going to paste. All right, now that's super small, right? Grab your selection tool. Stretch that bad boy out there, right? Might have overshot it a little bit. We'll drop that down. We're in pretty good shape, but I hear what you're saying, Jeremy. What happened to the eagle? Where did the eagle go? All right, here's the next part of the magic trick. Take your mask layer. Make sure your mask layer is the only one that's checked and drag it now to be a parent. Oh, it's grabbing that other one there. Of the background. Now, look at the layer structure. This is what has to happen. Background layer, mask, and then your eagle background, okay? So, other than that, you're done. It really was that simple, folks. That's a simple five minute fix to replace the sky. Shows you how to mask, shows you how to select. All right, special thanks to Bob Thompson there for sharing this with us. That's really it for us. If you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Like the channel, follow the channel. If you like what we did here, go ahead and give us some feedback. We'd love to have Bob back to do some other tutorials. And if you've got a tutorial that you'd like to share, being a student of Affinity Photo, 
certainly send us, drop us a message, and we would love to feature a student tutorial in our next lessons. All right, folks, have a good one. Enjoy your weekend.